guys, uh, my name is Michelle Johnson. I'm the Conservation Enrichment Elephant Care Manager here at the Montgomery Zoo. I want to welcome you to our first ever virtual enrichment day. Um, I want to um, give you a little bit of uh, explanation as to why we're doing it virtual this year. Um, so in the past, we've had our enrichment days here at the zoo on grounds. Um, our visitors um, will come out, they'll get to see up close and personal our animals interacting with enrichment items um, and uh, get to see them do some natural behaviors. Um, unfortunately, with COVID-19 um, we and the sh restrictions that they have now um, and some possible health uh, safety issues, um, we have decided that we will be doing our enrichment day virtually. Um, so that the visitors um, can still get up close and personal with our animals and uh, see those interacting with their enrichment items, um, but from the safety of your home and the comfort of your home. Um, so first I want to talk to you guys a little bit about enrichment in general. So the definition of enrichment is anything that is going to enhance and improve the quality of life of our animals. Um, so here at the zoo, that can be something like changing out perching in our bird enclosures, um, adding maybe a new water bowl to one of our felines' night houses, or even uh, changing how we present maybe some of our primate diets. Um, so in the wild, our primates are going to be foraging for their food, so they're not going to have their food dumped into a bowl. Um, so we can simulate that by spreading different food items throughout their enclosure and that entices them and encourages them to do that foraging behavior by finding the food on their displays. Um, so uh, here at the zoo, we actually give enrichment to our animals on a daily basis. Unfortunately, most of the time when visitors come in, they may not necessarily know that that's happening or maybe they come in and it's already happened. Um, our animals may have gotten their enrichment item when they first went out onto their enclosure. Um, and then our visitors may not have been able to uh, witness them interacting with that enrichment item. Um, so by having enrichment days, uh, these events allow those visitors to kind of see what's going on. Um, so enrichment um, can be categorized into several categories. Um, some of those categories would be um, social interaction, and that may not necessarily just be um, with species of the same, or individuals of the same species, um, but that can actually be in uh, interacting with um, conspecifics and um, individuals that are of different species. So maybe a uh, example would be of our cheetahs. They have visual access um, to our hoofstock, African hoofstock display, so they get to interact and see um, prey items that they would see in the wild. Um, Another example would be interacting with uh, their zookeepers. Um, so that is still a social interaction, um, whether that be training or them um, bringing their food to them at the end of the day, um, that's still interacting. Um, another category uh, is food related items. So everyone loves their food, even our animals. Um, so we can maybe, like I said earlier, uh, find different ways to present their food items to them that may be a little more enriching than just putting it into a bowl. Um, they also um, can search, like, like I said before, for their food, um, or we can give them maybe on a hot summer day a nice uh, blood sickle for carnivores or put some fruit and veggies into some ice or water and freeze it for some of our um, hoofstock or cap capybara, um, even our parrots. Um, so we just want to find new and exciting ways to present that food to them. Um, we can also um, categorize it as sensory, so touch, feel, taste, um, and sound. So we can find different ways to um, enrich them with different sounds, whether that be of their same species or maybe some prey items or different um, animals that they would encounter in the wild. Um, we can also use smell. Um, an example of that would be maybe offering hay that um, another individual has laid in or bedded down in. Or we can, when a 
uh, animal has shed their fur or molted their feathers, um, we can give those to different individuals um, for a sensory enrichment item. Um, some other categories would be cognitive. So that's just a fancy way of saying um, stimulating them mentally. Um, so we can give them puzzle feeder, feeders, um, encourage them to problem solve um, and um, work for getting that food item out by using um, problem solving skills to do so. Um, another um, category is habitat. So I mentioned perching earlier. So we can change their habitat um, even if it's just by perching, adding a bench, um, even just a new shade cloth. So some of those are the categories um, for enrichment. Um, and we enrich, like I said, our animals' lives daily um, using those different categories. And we want to switch it up. We don't want to always use uh, food items. We want to make sure that they're getting a, a well-balanced um, enrichment uh, schedule. So with our virtual enrichment day, we will be encouraging our animals to do these natural behaviors. So keep an eye out for um, links and videos posted to our website, Facebook page, and our YouTube channel. Um, we will have videos for each individual species participating in our enrichment day. And each video, uh, you'll see a keeper talking about our species and the individuals in the videos. They'll give a little bit of information about the natural behaviors that we are wanting to encourage from these animals. Um, and then you'll get to see a little behind the scenes of how we build and come up with uh, the different enrichment items. And then you will get to see the animals interacting with those enrichment items. Um, so hopefully when you're watching these videos, you'll be able to see those natural behaviors that the keepers were talking about in the intros. Um, so if you will um, stay tuned and throughout the day, uh, keep an eye out for those videos. Um, but I do want to encourage you guys to um, en enrich your animals at home. So enrichment is not just for exotic animals here at the zoo. Um, enrichment is for all animals, um, including your dogs, your cats, your birds, your fish, um, and yourself. Um, so you may not even realize that it's going on, but you probably have already enriched your animals um, at home by buying them a new toy, giving them a new dog bed, taking them to a dog park to socialize with other um, animals, or even bringing home a new fur or feathered friend for them to play with. Um, and as humans, we can also be enriched, like I said. Um, so I encourage you guys to, after watching all these enrichment videos, go out, learn a new language, start a new hobby, read a new book, um, enrich your own lives um, as you're enriching your animals' lives and watching our animals be enriched. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I hope you enjoy our first ever Montgomery Zoo Virtual Enrichment Day.